What's going on guys? This is JT here. IGG made a post today on their Facebook page which really got my attention. I was like, you know what? I want to make a video about this just to inform everybody else out there about what they got going on and what this post is even about. It's about improving the game. Now first, before I even get started with this, I wanted to let you guys know I am going to be live streaming today at 6 o'clock Eastern and I'm probably going to be live streaming honestly for 10, maybe even 12 hours or possibly longer just having fun playing the new WoW Classic experience. Now, if you guys want to be a part of that, come in and say hi. This isn't really to try to grow my channel with a different game. This is more so just playing the game for fun, seeing what it's about, and just getting into it and having fun with friends, right? So I am going to be live streaming, like I said, today at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So feel free, stop on by. It is going to be on the YouTube channel as well. All right, so IGG has a post right here. It says, Hi, Clashers. We would like to invite you to take a minute to tell us the game modes you like and what we can improve in Castle Clash. P please feel free to fill out this survey. I'm gonna fill out this survey in just a second, but I wanted to read some of the comments below because there's always some fun in reading comments on what people post on Castle Clash's Facebook page, man. It's crazy. So it says, all participants will receive 300 gems after the event ends. I'm definitely going to be entering in my free-to-plays player ID. No doubt about that. Don't really care about gems so much on my main account. It said the event deadline is 8.30 at 12 p.m. Here are the rules, whatever. Each player can only get one prize. Don't copy anybody else's entry. So, I mean, I'm just going to say don't copy exactly what I do or does it really matter? I don't think so. Submissions must not include Bulgaria. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So let's get in here and read some of the comments and then we'll fill out this survey. All right. So it says you guys need to update rewards for Storm Mesa and all other PVE modes like like Arid Runes, I agree with that. Some of it is so pointless to play, even for free-to-play players. Nobody wants to keep playing because they get stuck, and it sucks. Have everyone else in the game advancing because of heavy pay-to-play players, yada, yada, yada. All right, what else? Try fixing the download on Amazon. Feels bad, man. We also got... I'm just curious to see what people are saying. Please increase the time for Lost Battlefield. I always lost because of the time. Yeah, that is true, but then you get into the situations where you're fighting like Zephyrica versus Zephyrica, and, you know, I mean, that can last all day. I mean, it would never end, right? So if you increase it to three minutes, it might make Lost Battlefield a lot worse because you have to sit there and just wait for three minutes for something to time out because the heroes can't be killed, right? So I don't really too much agree with that. Why would anyone give you input? Players have been giving you input from day one. <laughs> That's pretty funny to read. Yeah, well, we got to do what it takes right we're trying to get this game better change the rewards for this event mostly free to play rewards i agree with that the new the brand new game mode the rewards need to be changed no doubt about that because it, whenever i do this on my free to play account i'm like really i'm just gonna grind this and can't even get the most important medals for the good rewards like that doesn't feel all that rewarding right so yeah should we keep reading comments you know what i think i'm just gonna talk about what i want to see changed and then we'll go ahead and fill out this survey you know in Castle Clash, like, the more I play, the more I play, I feel like all game modes need to have way better rewards. They need to allow free-to-play players and pay-to-play players to be able to play all the game modes and feel like they're getting something out of it, right? Like, whenever I go into Squad Showdown, Era Dream, all the game modes in the game, even Lost Battlefield, the amount of fame, the amount of shards, the amount of everything you're getting, you're, there's not really any game modes hardly that give out Igniting Stones, Zenith Stones, and Apex Crystals, which there needs to be, hands down about that. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to mention one more thing before I forgot. Um, Y'all need to update the Android servers. I don't even play on the Android servers, but in all my videos, I'm constantly seeing, hey, IGG, like, why does iOS get all these good rewards and, let's say, Discount Store, Pirate's Booty, whatever the case may be, Android needs to get, all servers need to get the same rewards. Why are some servers getting different rewards than others? That doesn't really make much sense to me. That's one of the reasons why I hate that IGG has... Android on one server and iOS on another server like I wish everything was combined that definitely takes away from Castle Clash But yeah, make all the servers the same give everybody the same stuff, right? Nobody wants to see my free-to-play account getting all these insanely good rewards and then them on Android Having to pay 5,000 gems for basically nothing, right? That's not fair So yeah update Android's free-to-play rewards for all of the events that they're not fair, right? So yeah Back to what I was saying. All right, so make all the game modes. I don't really feel like there needs to be so much change as far as, like, how the game modes gameplay is. Like, I really enjoy Lost Battlefield. I enjoy Squad Showdown. I enjoy even Archdemon and all the aspects of that. But 
on my main account and even my free to play at this point in time, the rewards that come out of those game modes just simply aren't worth it, right? Why would you go in and invest a ton of time learning how to set up for an arch demon fight when at the end of the day you can only get 500 fame from doing it, right? It's just not quite worth it because you just, hey, wait around until Tuesday or Thursday. Discount store comes in. Let's click the refresh. If we get a high percentage, well, guess what? Then we'll buy 1 million fame or we'll buy 1 million shards. You know what I mean? We don't need to play the game modes. We can just buy it from these events, Pirates, Booty, whatever the case. Even the one gym deals that IGG hands out at this point are better than the game mode rewards, right? So when you guys do fill out this survey, make sure to at least, like, in my opinion, go somewhat towards that because if the game mode... If the game mode rewards change, it could make the game a lot better, right? If on my free-to-play account, if I was able to hustle hard, do all the game modes, keep up with my account, and actually build heroes to break through level 30 from playing game modes, I would have a ton more fun on my free-to-play account than I'm having now just because I feel like I could compete with some of the other players. Right now, that doesn't take away from pay-to-play. If you want to spend money in this game, no big deal. You can just do things faster without even having to play the game modes, right? At least that's my opinion. Like, okay, you want to buy Igniting Zenith and Apex Crystals. Feel free. Go ahead and buy them. Boost all your heroes up quicker than everybody else. But at least give all those rewards from all the game modes. I mean, almost all game modes need to be handing out Igniting Stones for sure because it takes... I mean, I watched my boy Judacious Fire do a video on this. It would take a free-to-play player like five years or something of playing castle clash to get one hero to break through level 30 like what that's just, that's stupid right like no who wants to play a game where you can't you're, you're not able to even obtain any of basically any of the items you need to be able to boost up heroes to break through level 30 right that needs to be changed hands down that needs to be changed so pay to play can still obviously should be able to buy whatever they need to buy to boost them up a little bit quicker than free to play but all players need to be given pretty much all the rewards in this game. And not only that, I feel like pay, heavy pay-to-play players and just pay-to-play players in general need to have some rewards to fight for that can't be purchased, right? To make it a little bit more competitive. Imagine if you went into, let's say, like Arena or Lost Battlefield or whatever the case may be, and you had to obtain a certain rank to get something that can't be purchased. You know what I mean? That would make it feel really good. Like, it could even be a hero, so, for, so to speak. Like, if you place in ranks... I, I'm just thinking of all this stuff on the whim, by the way. If you place... Let's say you place in the top 100, then you get, let's say, 20 soul stones for the new hero that comes out. And the hero's not rollable and can't be purchased, right? If you get 20 soul stones if you place in the top 100 for Lost Battlefield, amazing. If you place in the top 500, let's say you get 10 soul stones. If you place in the top 1,000, you get 5 soul stones. And maybe you place in the top 10,000, you get 2 soul stones. But either way, you kind of guys kind of get the point. You slowly, gradual, you gradually grind to get that reward, and you feel successful once you actually get the reward, right? Like, we need more type of things like that into Castle Clash, at least in my opinion. So, whoops, didn't mean to click that. Let's go ahead and, oh, come on, get me back on Castle Clash. Okay, so here we are. All right, so let's go ahead and fill out the survey. Let's check this bad boy out and see what we got. I've been telling Castle Clash that they need to update the rewards now for forever, but let's try one last time. Why not? Or maybe not even a last time, but let's try again. All right, so my IGG ID, I'm logged into Castle Clash. I'm signing this up on my free-to-play just because, obviously, 300 free gems. Might as well get that. All right, so let's see what we got. Basic information. Okay, um, I'll go with Mel. How long have you played Castle Clash? We'll go ahead and say since launch, even though that's not true. I started a couple months after launch. We also got, how much time do you usually spend playing Castle Clash? I mean, that all depends. We'll go with more than 30 minutes a day, because why not? Your guild's ranking. Definitely in, I'm going to go with the top. Go with that. I don't even know, actually. What is my guild? Let me look. Actually, I think I might go with rank 11 through 100, because I think my current guild is ranked like 15th or something. I'm not 100% sure about that. So we got your guild position. I am a elite, I believe. Are player rankings important to you? Um, yeah, they're important. I mean, everybody needs player rankings in a game. If you don't have any type of rank at all, then, I mean, you need some sort of competitiveness, right? Are guild rankings important to me? Yeah, guild rankings are important. Guilds need to be involved. Definitely, no doubt about that. Which Castle Clash game modes do you like select up to four? Wow. Which do I like? I mean, I guess they just mean by having fun because I wouldn't select any of these game modes probably if they meant like liked for rewards that they handed out, right? All these game modes need to be boosted up. All right, so 
Hmm. Arena Heroes Expedition. I mean, yeah, Arena's a ton of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and select that because personally, solo competition, I enjoy Arena a lot. So, I mean, I would like to see Arena upgraded or I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what this section's going to do. All right, so what else do we got? We got solo dungeons. I mean, dungeons are, in my opinion, probably one of my favorite things to do. The dungeons have just gotten out of hand to where... They're a bit crazy, or heroes in general have just gotten out of hand to where they're so crazy, they gotta build these massively insane dungeons to get through, which, it's like you look at these dungeons, for, for at least me on my free-to-play count, and I'm like, whoa, dude, I don't even know where to drop, I don't even have any heroes to take this out. Like I said, that's why all these game modes rewards need to be boosted up. Alright, so we got team competition type, I'm definitely gonna go with that, I mean, Fortress View, Guild Wars, Torch Battle, that's hand down, this could be the most competitive and best game modes in the game, no doubt. Guild Wars, Fortress Shoot, and Torch Battle. However, Torch Battle updates, the rewards haven't been updated since the launch of the game, and they're honestly useless, and the game mode itself isn't even that much fun. That needs a big update in general. Fortress Feud's still fun, but there's still a lot of things that could be changed with Fortress Shoot, but obviously Guild Wars is definitely my most, my favorite, uh, probably game mode in the entire game, but even Guild Wars is kind of a joke now because you can just send in one hero, literally one hero, and beat any base in the game and they can't do anything about it, right? That's kind of an issue. So we got multiplayer co-op, team dungeons. Yeah, I like multiplayer stuff too. So I'm going to go with that. We also got Here Be Monsters, Labyrinth, Castle Crisis, Squad Showdown. I'm going to go with Squad Showdown just because, man, how do I not select Lost Battlefield though? Because that's like my all-time favorite. Squad Showdown's kind of like Lost Battlefield though. In my opinion, I mean, you've got to choose the talents, choose the heroes, you know what I mean? You set things up. Yeah, I'll go with Squad Showdown because I've been I've been bragging about Squad Showdown and I've also been um, trying to get that to have better in-game rewards mainly just because I really enjoy Squad Showdown because it can just show people in general what it takes to have the right setup or go again. I don't know, man. That game mode needs to be a little bit more free-to-play friendly though because... You can't spend gems just to unlock heroes and talents to make it to where free-to-play players just can't have no... Well, I guess if the rewards were better, maybe it'd be worth the, spending the gems on it. So yeah, they just need to fix the rewards, really. All right, so we got which Castle Clash game mode do you dislike? Select up to four. All right, what do I dislike? Uh, Challenge of Wardens, probably. I mean, that's just... It is whatever. Um, Arid Runes, I mean, I actually like Arid Runes, so I don't want to click that. Lost Realm, I mean, Lost Realm needs a huge upgrade. I'm just going to go ahead and check that because it's pretty boring all in all. Labyrinth's pretty boring too, but at the same time, Labyrinth can be fun. It was fun whenever it was first released, but the rewards are just so bad, right? And then, I mean, I guess... Here Be Monsters can still be fun because people can climb the leaderboard, so I don't want to check that off. That's one of the... I see people on Android and also in iOS, they, like, take pride in being the best Here Be Monster you know, winner, because it's like, oh, I got the best time in here to be monsters. Well, that's that's a good thing for Castle Clash, right? To people competitive, people being competitive with game modes is always a good thing. So what else? What else do we want to choose here? I mean, I guess, that's a tough call. I guess I can go with Blitz Gauntlet, but the thing is, is I like Blitz Gauntlet, just the rewards are terrible. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Blitz Gauntlet. All right, so we got... What, what, well, actually, the words aren't even that terrible, but free-to-play players can't get the best of the best, right? That's not fair. All right, so we got, what would you like to see more of? Select up to four. Regarding base and player. Base edit mode features? Yes, because I hate changing bases in this game. So if they had, like, some better base edits, that'd be huge. Like, I don't like spending 30 minutes changing my base in Castle Clash, right? That's just boring to me. I'd rather just leave my base the same and... I mean, if the game was as competitive as it should be, I'd probably have more interest in changing my base, but in, uh, um, unfortunately, that's not the case. So I'm going to go with base, base edit mode features. New troops would be really cool in Castle Clash as well. New spells and Relic Call. I don't really think that that's necessary in any way, so I'm not going to click that. New heroes, definitely not necessary. They need to update some of their old heroes. Thunder God, all the old school boys, like they're all useless, right? One thing you'll notice is the old school heroes have... Basically, they do one thing. It's like, oh, stun and do damage to whatever. The heroes now do like 50 things. It's like, oh, remove a bunch of buffs, stun. They're immune to everything. They're, you know what I mean? They can only take in a certain amount of damage. The old heroes need to be updated at least a little bit. You know what I mean? Why not? We also got new hero skins, more watchtower defense abilities. We got, well, that could be cool. Defensive abilities, more watchtower defensive abilities. I mean, for what, I mean, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check this because if there were more watchtower defensive abilities, it might make Guild Wars a little bit more challenging and allow people, like, personally, I feel like Guild Wars in itself, 
Like, bases should be able to set up to where almost nobody, well, not almost nobody, but it should be very, very hard to 100% a base, right? Like, people should be happy with getting two stars and getting, like, 66% because bases are so hard. I feel like that would be, and not only that, I feel like Guild Wars would be a lot more fun if you only have one try. Imagine going into Guild Wars and whatever drop you made first, that was your only drop. You can't, like, back out and do 100 drops if you want, you know what I mean? Just one, one drop is all she wrote. I feel like that'd be fun. More methods to level up new pets, improve to traits. Yeah, improvements to traits big time because that new trait system, they just came out to epic fail. All right, so we also got regarding battles, interactivity, interactivity, interactivity and guild features. All right, so we got new costume game modes. I guess that'd be okay, but it's not really. Nobody even does that as is, really. We got new solo dungeon and team dungeon. Oops. We got lobby waiting room. Wait, what? Regarding battles, wait, what is the question? What would you like to see more of? Select up to four. Um, new solo dungeon and team dungeon stages and maps. We just got some new team dungeons, so I mean, that's pretty cool. Lobby waiting room for team dungeon. What, what's that? What would you like to see more of? Lobby waiting room for team dungeon? Like, what's, I don't, I don't even understand what that is. New Fortress Feud maps and game modes? Yeah, I gotta select that. No doubt about that. Guild turf improvements. More interactive and co-op features with guild mates. All right. That's fair. I mean, that'd be a lot of fun. Anything you interact with other people, I always think is a good thing for games. We also got new Guild Wars game modes. Wow, that's going to be hard not to select. Yeah, I'm going to go with new Guild Wars game modes. I'm, I'm going to take the Guild, to guild turf improvements back just because I want to read these other right, so we got remove or update old events yes <laughs> yes yes remove or update old events yes <laughs> more player controlled gameplay in turf watch solo and team server events solo pvp game modes and ability to capture enemy heroes solo pvp game modes and the ability to capture enemy heroes um what's a fourth one here boys I'm thinking probably just more interactive co-op features with guildmates for guild turf improvements. I mean, the guild turf's okay, but it's not like I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta, you know, meet up with my guildmates and do some uh, interactive co-op features. No, I'm never saying that when I wake up. I don't even normally click on the guild turf, to be honest with you, unless I'm like donating, right? Other suggestions. Please improve get all. Oh, actually, I'm gonna change that to all. All game modes to hand out break. Should I say breakthrough crystals? I guess just breakthrough crystals. Yes, for everyone. I mean, all game modes need to hand out breakthrough crystals for everyone. And also, not only that, we need to get better drop rates in, let's say, like Hero Trials or even Thunder God's Gift. Whatever the drop, where, wherever the the good rewards are handed out, they need to have a little bit better of drop rates. Like, Because, for example, they handed out level 9 talent runes with Hero Trials. And I've done Hero Trials probably like 5,000 or more times on my free-to-play account, and I've never one time gotten a level 9 talent rune. Like, that's not fun to anybody. Like, we need to be able to play these game modes and be excited when we get level 9 talent runes or level 10 talent runes now. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I just wanted to make a video on this. Make sure you guys did fill out this survey. Get your surveys up. You know what I mean? Maybe, I mean, they wouldn't be making this event if they didn't care at all, right? So, I mean, Castle Clash at least has interest, or IGG has some sort of interest to, you know, see people's feedback, see what's going on, see what they want to see more of. So, you guys make sure y'all fill out this survey. And remember, I am going to be live streaming today at 6 o'clock on the YouTube channel, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. If you want to stop by, come hang out, feel free. I know the game that I'm going to be playing doesn't really interest all that many Castle Clash subscribers out there, but I'm just going to be having fun with it. So, yeah, feel free to stop by. Anyway, guys, I am out of here for now. Peace.